the uh, question in this video is how to create 3D objects in Xcode and in Swift 3. Well, this is obvious. This is, this is obviously the first step in creating a game. Well, in games, there are actions and interactions between characters and objects. Uh, however, we would need to create objects first, 3D objects. So I here have uh, Xcode and uh, I, will, I will create a new Xcode, Xcode project uh, and uh, a single view application and next. I will, I will give it a name, uh, beginner, uh, a, a name, any name and next. Okay, and here I will create it. Okay, it's, it's created already, and uh, uh, we have uh, these these uh, files uh, app that I guess the Swift you control so and this is what main storyboard, and uh, uh, I would I, I would add uh, another file. Uh, I go to file new, and again file, and here uh, scene kit scene file this one. Uh, next, I create. Well, this is this is like this is like this would act as a storyboard and also as uh, a simulator. It is a simulator. Uh, let me click what this. I click this one, uh, and uh, it is a simulator. And uh, you 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 can create your objects here, and uh, also create uh, the way they are related to each other, character like the relations. And here you have like storyboard. You have a library of objects and um, camera and light, and uh, you would need this uh, anytime uh, when you're making uh, the game. Actually, uh, let me let me uh, add two objects. Well, I'll, I'll scroll down, and would add a sphere here, and also a cone. A cone. Okay, and uh, if you if you go up here, uh, you can see these. Uh, I mean, the properties on editors and information about the objects. Look, this is this is uh, information. I mean, about object, and uh, you you here see the, the name and also the position of this whole these functions as the world and the, the, the these are these indicate the position of the cone. Uh, let me let me go to this circle here uh, and uh, give it give it some color diffuse uh, well, red uh, also this one and uh, green or any color <coughs> well if you if, if you go to this one this would determine the uh, physics and it is, it is the physics inspector actually and this 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 one or the scene inspector you you, you would need them uh, later I mean uh, once you advance you would uh, have to uh, uh, be able to uh, use all of these inspectors and properties uh, okay uh, well I would, I would zoom out a little bit and look this is this is the camera well this is an object itself and again you have uh, well here the camera and you have and you uh, can learn about the position of the camera and other characteristics uh, so uh, look it is uh, I mean the camera the, the sphere and the cone the, the object but you, you would you would need to know something right away and uh, uh, that is uh, that is uh, the uh, structure of making a 3D game in Xcode and in Swift, in, in Swift 3, uh, is the concept node, node, in ODE. And that would mean that when you look at the world, look at the objects, that is like, uh, I mean, you're looking from an angle, I mean, you have a perspective, and the camera has the function of providing the perspective actually in this. Uh, in this world, I mean, this uh, way of presenting, I mean, representing things. And so here we have the perspective, the camera, and then the objects, the sphere and the cone. So we'll look from this angle at the globe and the cone, or any object we would add in the future, or anything that would happen uh, in this environment. So the note here is that we would have to begin with the camera, and uh, with the light, and with the objects. So it's somehow hierarchical. And 
So one comes before the other, uh, or one would include the other. <coughs> uh, I have, I have a, a slide. Uh, let me let me show that to you. This look and the scene. Then the, uh, that that is refers to the world, to the environment in which we want to create our game. And then the perspective, the camera, and the ground. Then light and objects. So for uh, each of these, we would need to write codes actually. Uh, although we have uh, this simulator, and we could we could uh, kind of create our objects and the uh, relationships among them, kind of representing them in uh, this uh, uh, environment. Uh, however, uh, we would need to write codes, and that would be in this view control Swift. Okay, so I will here uh, import scene kit. Well, just import uh, scene. Oh, I have it here. Okay, yeah. Then under class here, I would need to put my variables. So, uh, I mean, the hierarchical model. So I, I would begin with scene. Uh, Bar uh, scene, okay. Colon scene, yeah, okay. And an exclamation mark. Well, this is this would mean that this scene is an instance of this one. So if you if you if you drop it, then it would not mean that, and so uh, you, you wouldn't be able to program the, your game anyway. Uh, then next would be the camera actually, camera, and note this one. Okay, again the exclamation mark. And the other one is the ground. Let me use floor, for uh, floor colon, this one. Okay, all of these are parts of the same node, like uh, the camera, uh, floor, and the next would be for light uh, and we will have the objects a cone and a, and a sphere let me put uh, sphere first for sphere and and the last one would be I mean I will have two objects cone and Again, the node. <coughs> yeah, these are variables. So we're going to have the scene, the camera, and then the floor. So we would, we would look through the camera or from this perspective at the scene, and there will be light. Uh, we can't see objects without having light, actually. And then our object will be sphere, and uh, it will be a sphere and a cone. Okay, I will need to load these here under under view did load. So I'll go to uh, this uh, function. And would begin. I mean, we would need to write codes for all of them, uh, making statements, definitions, and would instruct actually this function what to do, or what we expect the function to do. Uh, expecting the, uh, uh, the computer actually the uh, app uh, to do. So let's begin with scene there. So scene here and the equal sign, and we would put. view and would uh, write frame view frame <coughs> so th th this would mean that uh, we have we have uh, the frame here and the scene uh, is within this uh, this frame the uh, scene and view. Uh, okay, scene. Well, scene like, it's like image or text. Uh, and scene, scene. Where is that? Yes, it's here. Scene, and well, which indicates type, uh, uh, like finite. Uh, a finite list of items. I mean, we could put in these uh, uh, parentheses. And uh, self 
few uh, ads of you will have it and see what this scene I mean the green one is seen is uh, a sub view of SC in view I mean it's just uh, I'm sure you understand what's going on actually uh, so uh, we have we have created a code for the scene then uh, we would need to go I mean to do the second one the camera and let's have uh, let camera well it could be any camera but this particular camera is a SC in camera we have it here no uh, yeah, we now have it. Okay, and the parenthesis. <coughs> uh, self camera again, okay. and well, this is this is no, not camera. Okay, self camera okay. camera. What well, is this? This this uh, the second camera is like image or like uh, scene in this uh, in, in this statement. Cool camera. Okay, and uh, the final would be uh, self. I mean, we're going to put the position of the camera, the camera, and position uh, equal sign, and it is S C N. Well, I have to find it here, and I would, I would, I would put X. Uh, this is X axis. Uh, colon uh, minus three, comma, and Y. Uh, five and Z column three five. Well, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you will follow uh, what this means here. And uh, I mean the camera, the position of the camera is going to be uh, I mean, the values of these. Uh, it is uh, thirty five on the Z axis and minus three and five uh, on X and Y respectively. Okay, so I'm done with the camera. So I have the scene and then the camera.